Hello, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a technique we uh, don't use often enough, um, but it's really important in doing infrastructure as code with Terraform and Ansible, and that's dynamic inventories. Um, this is actually described in a good amount of detail with the sample code in my Intro to Terraform and Ansible course, uh, the workshop. It's in the demo 09 uh, directory if you want to see, see how it works, uh, but I'm actually going to go through it right here real briefly. There is a video in that uh, if you want to actually see it in action. Um, normally, when we build inventories in Ansible by hand, it looks something like this, right? It's an INI file. In this case, I stood up two web servers and a database. I found out what their IP addresses were from Terraform and plugged them in in this INI file and made one that was kind of all of them together just so we could see, uh, have, have one way of calling them all. And that's you know great if you're doing it statically and things aren't changing, but when we're standing stuff up with Terraform uh, and infrastructure and code in general, uh, most of these systems are ephemeral. They're, they're up and down constantly. They're dynamic. Uh, we want to be able to pick them up automatically. So we need something that's more than let me look at the Terraform output, update a file, and then run the next step. Um, so if I'm running Ansible and Terraform together, one of the things I can do is a dynamic inventory. Uh, let me show you the two uh, sets of their three EC2 instances I stood up, these two web servers in this database. Um, in the main here, I can see the web servers. There's two of them. Um, and how they get stood up, same on, on as we do normal Terraform. Uh, but the one thing I want to point out is that I'm tagging them with a project, an environment, and a role. This is a planet demo. It's in the demo environment. I could have like a dev and a prod and a, a test. Um, and I'm giving it a role. Uh, that will match up with my Ansible, the Ansible I want to run against it. Uh, these are arbitrary. I, I pick these tags and the values for them. They could be anything. But what's important is I can identify the group of servers I want by making the one call um, just against the tags. I can use that to, to, to find all these web servers. The same thing for the database. This is a MongoDB. And again, I've tagged it with project and environment, same project, same environment, but this time it's the database role, right? And that's all I need to be able to use a dynamic inventory. Instead of building this by hand with an INI file, I can use a AWS EC2 plugin, just put the, uh, create a YAML file that ends in AWS underscore EC2.yaml and tell it I'm using the EC2, AWS EC2 plugin and Ansible will run this and generate a dynamic inventory for me. Um, I have to tell it what region or regions I'm using. In this case, I've set up the boxes in EC2. Um, I have to tell it how to identify the hosts, and you can give it different, uh, use different ways. I'm going to use the IP address because these have external IP addresses, but no domain names that we could use. Um, so that makes it easier. Um, and I'm going to include them using this include filters, anything that's tagged with the planets project, anything that's tagged in the demo environment. Now I could actually be a lot more sophisticated about this. I could group things differently and have a hierarchy of, of uh, my, um, a hierarchy of my inventory. But in this case, I just want to grab just the planets in the demo environment. And I want to take those groups, I want to make those groups out of the role tag. Right, so before I had this web servers and database groups, uh, and here what I'm saying is I'm going to take those roles, which came from the database and web servers roles, and I'm going to use this plugin, which is just going to use my AWS CLI credentials, and it's going to dynamically find those. Um, let's take a look at what that looks like when I run that. Um, if I just do an Ansible inventory, pass it the inventory name, and tell it to graph the results, I actually see something that looks very similar. You know, it's in a different format because it's graphed out, but it creates, these are all my AWS EC2 instances, right? It's all three of them. In addition, this one's also in the database direct, uh, group. This one's also in the web servers group. They're all listed under all. Um, that's a real quick way it's completely dynamic, um, and if I do a sane 
comfortable tagging process, I could actually pick up all my EC2, my AWS EC2 instances and put them into an inventory, and have one inventory they run all my uh, Ansible code against, uh, and just use you know, enough hierarchy to, to group these things into the right project, the right uh, project and environment, the right project environment and role. Uh, things can be multiple roles, so I could tag things that need Java, that need um, Nginx, um, and be able to apply the right things to the right places um, so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Anyway, uh, I could also do this, by the way, this, this inventory, I could run it against a regular inventory.ini file, that one I just showed you, and you'll see it comes out very similar, right? It doesn't have the AWS EC2 group, but I could have, I could have generated that as well. Um, so, but the neat thing is, this one is dynamic. And then I use it just like I would use any other, uh, any other inventory, and when I'm actually running, the Ansible playbook, I just pass it this inventory, the YAML file instead of the INI file, and it picks it up dynamically. Um, I also happen to have the Terraform code in here to run this. Once the web server and MongoDB are stood up, it's going to run every time, and it's going to run this command to do that. Um, but that's the dynamic inventory tied in from Terraform into uh, directly into running Ansible using a dynamic inventory. I hope that helps.